I'm Amy, uh, and I'm dressed as Link from Breath of the Wild. So talk about what went into your costume. It looks fantastic. Uh, so it's the bodysuit is the base. Um, I actually had, I paid someone to pattern the bodysuit for me. Um, and on top of that is all the armor pieces which I made and the belt. Um, and the armor pieces are made of foam and zebra. How long did, how many hours did it take you to make the costume? I would say probably about a hundred. What was the total cost out of pocket, if you don't mind asking, to the costume? I think probably about 300, 400. The, the bodysuit looks incredible. It doesn't even look like it's custom. It looks like an official licensed Nintendo product. Yeah, I um, I looked for a good commissioner who would do the pattern for me, and then I sent it off to get made into a bodysuit. What was the hardest part of your costume? So the armor, I had actually never made armor before, um, so I hadn't worked with Thibra. Um, so trying to get the Thibra to cover the foam without bubbling was a little difficult. Does your Shiga Slate double as an iPad case? Uh, it does actually hold my phone, but it's a little broken, so my phone is not in it. <laughs> Hi, so I'm Ember Brennan Sparks, and I'm cosplaying as Mr. Freeze punk rock version. This is Freeze punk rock. Mr. Freeze. Oh, Mr. Freeze. Okay, gender, gender bend. Okay, I got it. I'm kind of that weird sort of gender bend, but not gender bend, because I like. I wanted it to still be the masculine Mr. Freeze is where I drew all the inspiration, but a little bit of feminine, but it's still Mr. Freeze. How long, how many hours did it take to put together your costume? Punk rock costumes are like the quickest ones that I make. Uh, this one maybe was done in a week. Um, found the patches, local store, did all of the, most of the pieces came off of Amazon, uh, hand painted the back, like most of this was just stuff that I already had, the gun, all that, maybe about a week, week and a half. It doesn't take that long. Hardest piece to find and or make for your costume? The freeze apparatus. This is all made and also he usually has a full helmet and I didn't want to do the full helmet because I had claustrophobia and gross or a big pack. So trying to find like something small to sort of suggest technology but still being punk rock. So that's where this and my gun that's strapped to me because of con rules or else I'd show you. Your glasses are actually really unique. How did, where did you find those or make them? Amazon? Really? Oh yeah, this came from Amazon, the shirt came, the jacket, the shirt, my pants and my boots and my socks are probably the only thing that I did not source from Amazon Prime. Yay. How long did it take you to do your makeup in the morning? Uh, now that took a while. Uh, I started with layering airbrush and then also eyeshadow. That was probably a good 45 minutes an hour. Yeah. Is Mr. Freeze your favorite Batman villain? Uh, close. Actually one of my favorites is one they never really show and that's the Mad Hatter. He's a great villain, yeah. and he's underused. Yes, yes one of my favorite of the cartoon episodes is there's this great episode where Bruce gets to live this fantasy perfect life, and then he realizes it's not right, and he breaks through and wakes up, and I remember the Mad Hatter just screaming, you were happy, you could have been happy. Like it was just, it's such a twisted little episode. So yeah, I mean, I love Mr. Freeze, but there's something about the Hatter that I really dig. If someone wanted to cosplay for the first time, what advice would you give them? Um, as someone who's been cosplaying since 2000, oh boy, nine, um, shoes, spend money on good shoes, um, always have spare clothes somewhere because you're going to want to get out of this faster than you realize, and please don't forget to drink water. <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll kill you. Don't forget to eat and drink water. Plan it. Don't get lost in the high of it. And also, cosplay is not consent. <laughs>
Um, just figuring out patterns. Like, um, there's, uh, I, I used a, um, oh gosh, a Yaya Han uh, pattern, and she was actually at the Her Universe fashion show, and I was like, oh my god, I'm like, thanks. Like, <laughs> thanks for making that pattern, because if not, I couldn't have cosplayed. <laughs> and um, I think it was just that, and then just putting all the pieces together, and then, and then the actual sewing, and messing up and redoing things. <laughs> so yeah, it was pretty much that. Yeah. Is Harley Quinzel your favorite character? Yeah, yeah, I mean, she's just so insane, and there's just something so endearing about insane people. Like, genuinely, like, just delusional people that you're just like, how do you even? Um, and, um, I mean, I feel like sometimes she gets a little romanticized for a lot of the darker parts of her, you know, her relationship with... Hi, I am Oswald Krauss, um, and I am playing a street punk Riddler. Great. So talk about a little bit about your costume. Like, where did you get all these cool pieces? Um, a lot of it is from Goodwill. Um, I found a jacket, bleached it, dyed it, then covered it in patches. And a lot of the patches are found at, like, local punk stores where they still sell records and stuff like that. Um, same thing with the jeans. I, the jeans were regular blue jeans. Cut them in half, bleached them, dyed them cover them in spray paint. So yeah, the, the stripes are actual spray paint. How many hours would you say you worked start to finish on this costume? Um, 12, maybe 14. That's really impressive. Um, the, the greatest thing about punk uh, is that it is very accessible. Um, a lot of, the, the thing that takes the most amount of time is conceptualizing what it's gonna look like uh, or finding the actual pieces. like. The hat, the hat was actually the hardest thing to find out of everything that I'm wearing. Like, this is PVC pipe, uh, cut and sanded down, and it's, I didn't want to do the 90s uh, golden cane, because it's like, where am I going to get this? It, the only thing I'm going to find is like, you know, one of those cheap plastic ones, and it's not going to cut it. Uh, but then when Asylum came out, or uh, Arkham Asylum, they had the Riddler, who's more of like a do-yourself kind of mechanic. Uh, so I was like, yeah, I can do this. So this is where it came from. And he's a ginger, so I don't have to shave. <laughs> so hardest thing to find slash make on your costume? Sorry, say that again? Hardest thing to find or slash you made in your costume? Um, probably the hat. Um, it started out as white felt, and you can kind of see from the inside, it is, it is not comfortable in the slightest. And I had to spray paint it two times, uh, and then getting studs through the felt, so fun. Really your favorite Batman villain? I don't think he's my favorite Batman villain, but it's kind of like trying to pick which child you tell you like the most. Uh, there's there's so many good ones. Uh, the Riddler is kind of like that annoying brat. He's not any real threat, but he's like, ah, great, I have to deal with this guy. That's what I love about him, is the fact that he's like super annoying and really among the villains, he's just kind of like, you're smart, you're funny, we'll keep you around. <laughs>